Hello everyone, my name is John Hammond, doing a little bit more Tamu CTF, uh, the game that's been going on the past couple days. I will jump over to my screen and we will get started. I think I want to showcase this RSA Pwn Challenge in the miscellaneous category because it's kind of cool. Uh, just a simple thing that actually has a module that I really want to showcase to you guys. So let's get a terminal open and ready. I'll hop over to that Tamu directory that I've been working in and let's make a directory for RSA Pwn. So inside of RSA Pwn, let's make a simple connect script just so we can keep track of that host and port number in case the CTF goes down or in case we ever want to get back to it. Uh, I just always think that's a good practice and I try and uh, enforce that in a lot of my videos. So it says, we must train future hackers to break RSA quickly. I realize my face is in the way, so let's bring that up. Here's how it'll work. I'll multiply together two big primes, less than whatever that number is, giving you the result, and you must reply to me in less than two seconds, telling me what primes I multiplied. Press enter when you're ready. So if I hit enter, we have this number, and that is what we need to go ahead and supply values for. Um, in this case, okay, it looks like it's going to be using just the split function, so that will determine if we need to supply a delimiter with a space character, because that's the default delimiter with split. Um, but obviously, in this case, I didn't enter numbers, so it whined about these not being integers. Uh, if we were to go ahead and supply something else, I will supply something like, uh, let's use 12 and 34. That'll tell me, hey, I was too slow. Uh, oh, sorry, 12 and 34. And yeah, I was either wrong or hit it too quickly. Hit the enter button, 12, 34. And that tells me I'm too slow. So we need to automate this somehow. We need to be able to factor this somehow. Uh, a lot of times when you're doing RSA challenge, you might hop on over to factordb.com. Um, I will need to factor db. Goodness gracious. Wow, I can't type. I don't know why my Chrome is being super slow. Factordb.com. You could do that there. Uh, you could automate kind of connecting to this and then supplying that value here. And I did not copy that. This video is going really well. <laughs> and we could supply these values, but we need to automate that process. Uh, what I want to show you is that PrimeFAC, there is a module in Python that has gone ahead and added support for this. This is actually a fork of the original PrimeFAC where it did add support for connecting to FactorDB and being able to use this. Um, that's kind of nice because it's a little, also a little bit faster. It has Fermat factorization. Uh, the PrimeFact module is pretty great. And I'm getting YouTube notifications. Fantastic video, guys. We're really doing well here. Uh, anyway, it has a factor int function, and you can do that all programmatically within Python. So that is what I want to do and showcase that for you. Go ahead and check this out. Go download this module, and we'll use that to solve this challenge. So let me go ahead and create a script for this. I'll call it ape.py, and let's use our classic shebang line, user bin environment Python. I'll say Python 3 because I just like to be explicit. And let's go ahead and from pwn import all. We can check out our connect script just to kind of grab this host and port number. So let me go ahead and throw that in the script. Grab our host, grab our port number, and let's go ahead and say s can equal remote of that host and port. So quick and easy, we'll just burn through that. We will verify that we have a valid prompt, and now let's run that script. Okay, it looks like it connects. Uh, it needs us to hit the enter key. So s dot send line new line, or I guess we don't really need anything in that case because uh, we'll let's receive until the new line new line because we know that there was one and that said please press enter when you're ready. So we'll do an s dot receive uh, until another new line. Is that right? There we go, press enter when you're ready, which we've just sent. So now we can go ahead and receive until the new line character again to get that number out. And let's actually drop the new line there. And let's say that that is going to be a decoded value because you can see we're getting it in bytes. So I'll use Latin one just to kind of safely get that. And we probably also want that as an integer. So let's save that as a variable and mark that as an integer. Uh, okay, I don't need any extra because I had some parentheses already when I was using the print function. Now we can determine that we have successfully extracted that number. There we go. So let's go ahead and grab that PrimeFAC module. I have it installed already. Uh, you can install it through the GitHub repository if you're using that fork. And we should be able to now 
run our factors can equal prime fact dot factor int on that number. So let's check out what we have here. What was it able to factor for us? And there we go. So we have these values and they're kind of denoted actually as a little bit of an interesting dictionary. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert that into a list. And if you verify that, now you'll see that they're still in this kind of MPZ format for what it ended up using to go ahead and do that factoring. I'm gonna actually convert those into integers. I'm just going to say int of x for x in that list, just some quick dirty list comprehension. And now we have those as actual numbers, fantastic. So we can go ahead and send that because it just needs it as the line, s dot send line. So I will join these together, uh, factors here, but I also need those to be strings. So I will use some list comprehension. So I'll use for x in those list of factors. And then we don't know what's gonna come after this, so we'll go interactive. And now let's send that along. Okay, <laughs> looks like that is literally just that challenge. That's all that task was asking for us that it will give us the flag just like that, just supplying the factors of this value. And that value would change every single time, so we wouldn't be able to like, okay, keep track of it, not connect it, and then connect to it and send that within two seconds. It's going to be just this random value and we need to factor it. Prime fact will let us do that, and that's pretty awesome and pretty great. So there's our flag, that's it. Let's uh, note that as a flag.txt and then mark this challenge as solved with my little finish script and command. So that's that. That is literally all that we needed to do for that challenge. I just kind of wanted to use that as an opportunity to showcase that prime fact module to you guys. I, I think it's awesome. I honestly think it's awesome. That's pretty handy. And because for some cryptography stuff they're gonna do, maybe a little bit of RSA, well, now you can do that kind of programmatically in your Python script, and that's fantastic. So, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, please do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit the comment box, and then type things and hit the enter key. Um, fantastic. You're the best. Love to see you guys on Discord, Patreon, PayPal, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, etc. All right, let's stop the video now. Thank you. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,